I get asked often, why did you title the book Hurt? Even though the subtitle is Inside the World of Today's Teenagers, that book Hurt kind of screams out at you. And Hurt 2.0 is not just some kind of nouveau cool title. It actually is the second edition of the original Hurt that came out in 2004. But why the title? It's not a snappy title. It's not very attractive to people. It's a lot of people kind of struggle with the idea that are you saying that all kids are hurt or is this an at-risk kid um, kind of book? I've actually had people that ought to know better blog uh, about me and my work and say that, uh, yeah, Chap Clark studies fringe kids. He doesn't understand that kids thrive and that kids are, you know, really powerful and exemplars and really doing well and happy. Well, A, they haven't looked at the methodology. I did not study fringe kids. I didn't study any small population. I studied hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids in a variety of settings basically grounded in being on a high school campus and being around every kid there and every kid at least twice. And then following up with focus groups of all major ethnicities, all levels of the socioeconomic spectrum, I've interviewed and listened to and received letters and poems and notes from hundreds and hundreds of kids that you would say are doing great, they're perfect, they're wonderful, or they're really at risk, or they're a rebellious kid, or they're a normal kid, or they're a middle kid. Why well, hurt? After about three or four weeks of this first segment of the study in the high school, I realized that my original categories of, of exemplar, superstars, middle, and at-risk kids just was not accurate. Um, it's every single kid carries around wounds from growing up in a culture where everything is evaluated according to externals. How you look, how you perform, how you conform to the agendas of adults around you, uh, how competitive you are, how able you are to take that competitive streak and apply it to an adult's agenda, how sexually pleasing you are, how you're able to play your social situations so that other people like you. This is the culture we've handed our kids. There is literally no affirmation for innate, uh, inherent value or worth. We even have stolen the labels gifted and talented when every culture for all of time around the globe has seen all kids as being gifted and talented. Every kid belongs to us, they're part of us. And that's why hurt, every kid is hurt. And until we understand that and we're willing to acknowledge that, will we change our behavior, change our systems and structures to help kids to be brought into a healing community of adults that care. That's why we call the book Hurt.